Turkish friends. Today, I'm going to do over 30 book tag. This tag was or originally created by Ink Not Blood, and I will link the original video down below. I was not tagged by anyone, but I'm over 30, so I'm eligible to do this tag. Actually, I'm over 40. Uh, maybe uh, we can create uh, over 40 tag book tag. I don't know. Maybe later. Anyhow, uh, I really like this tag because it tells a lot about the booktuber and uh, their tastes in books. Uh, so I really like watching this tag. So why not do one for myself uh, since I like it so much. The first question of the tag is name one of your favorite books featuring a protagonist who's 30 years old or older. My default answer for that question is Hercule Poirot. He is a, a very clever detective uh, and he solves murders for by using an analytical approach. He uses it uh, more often than Agatha Christie's other characters. He is arrogant and so full himself and uh, sometimes that makes him uh, unlikable. But I really think I think he's a silly one. He's a silly character in that sense and I find him funny. I could not uh, Pass this question without mentioning A Man Called Uwe by Bre Frederick Bachmann. Uh, Uwe is a cranky old man <laughs> who tries to kill himself after uh, his wife's uh, death, uh, but he's, al he's always interrupted by something uh, like maybe fate some and sometimes neighbors. I really like Uwe because he has a, he has a wit like uh, Hercule Poirot does, but uh, he's not full of himself, or uh, actually it's the opposite, but uh, he has this, these observations that sometimes, you know, I've, I say to myself, that's what I'm thinking too. He represents an older generation than me, like my father's time, I think, uh, but he acts like my father sometimes, and, I, and he's a dear character, I really do like him. And I really uh, recommend this book if you haven't read it already. You should read it. The second question of this tag is name a book that represents who you were when you were younger. Uh, I'm going to choose a book series for that answer. Nancy Drew series by Caroline, Caroline Keene. It was my favorite series when I was younger. Uh, I, I, th I thought that it was because... Uh, I like uh, mystery detective books, I still uh, love mystery detective books, but actually when I think about it, I think the, I like the fact that uh, Nancy Drew was sort of like me on, when, that, when I was that age. Uh, she was so curious to know and learn about new things, new places, new people, uh, and I was like that when I, when I was her age. Uh, I still like to ne meet new people, learn new things, and uh, find new friends. Uh, that's what I'm doing. The <laughs> that's why I'm doing the booktube channel. Actually, over the years, I have learned to uh, control my curiosity, and uh, right now I don't really care what other people do. So aside from this curiosity factor, Nancy Drew still sort of represents me. The third question. In the stack, name a book that represents where you are in your life now. Uh, this book, this question was the hardest to answer for me because I don't know. I could have chosen many books uh, by uh, uh, by choosing different aspects of my life. I could have chosen a family book, family book because I'm so committed to my family. I could have chosen a uh, book. Uh, with a uh, with a woman, with a single woman in her forties, and uh, and sort of satisfied with her work, I could have chosen a book uh, with with a main character as an architect. Uh, I had many uh, alternatives, but I chose a romance book. Uh, it's not because of the romance aspect. Uh, it's because. Uh, the main character was so much like me. She, I, I really identified with her. And uh, when the book ended, I cried because I was so happy for her. 
The book I chose was The Perfect Match by Kristen Higgins. It wouldn't hurt to find a caring guy like the main character did in this book. The fourth question is name a book that represents something that has never changed about your life. I'm going to choose Pollyanna by Eleanor H. Porter for this uh, question. Uh, the reason I chose it because uh, I'm most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time I'm, I try to see the uh, positive sides of uh, the events, even though uh, they might hurt me, they might pain me. That's my way of surviving these events. Uh, and uh, the main character in the in Pollyanna also uh, tries to do that, also uses that method to survive in life. Uh, so uh, it was my uh, favorite book when I was a child and I could still see the uh, effects of that uh, right now. The fifth question is name one of your favorite classics. Uh, I'm going to choose Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I really like Jane Eyre because I admire Jane as a woman. She is a very strong woman and even though she suffered many pains and hardships in life, uh, she still manages to uh, she still manages to be proud and uh, survive and find a way to uh, live without a help of a man even though she is really in love with uh, Mr. Rochester and this book has uh, my favorite line ever uh, the beauty is I is in the eye of the beholder uh, I mean when you love someone that uh, person becomes the most beautiful person in your eyes I think Charlotte Bronte uh, really uh, captured that uh, feeling very well with their sentence. The last question of this tag is to name a book you like or would like to read that was published in the year you were born. I was born in 1976. I read uh, Sleeping Murder by Agatha Christie uh, that was published in 1976. It is one of the best Marple mysteries. Uh, I really like that book. Uh, and Miss Marple is uh, really at her best in uh, in that book. Uh, I've heard that although it was published in 1976, it was actually written in 1940 when Agatha Christie published her best works. Uh, and uh, the book that I would like to read is uh, a political thriller, Not a Penny More, Not a Penny Less by Jeffrey Archer. It's in my TBR. and. Uh, I really like political thrillers, uh, so I'm intrigued by it. I think there has been a movie adaptation of that book. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think I will read it next year. I think I might read it next year because it has been on my TBR for such a long time. So that was my overboard 30 book tag. Uh, I will not tag anybody uh, because uh, Actually, I don't know the ages of some of my friends, new booktube friends. But, so I'm going to say uh, I'm tagging everyone who's over 30 and wants to do this tag. Uh, this is such a fun tag and it tells a lot about you. I really would like to know your answers about this. Uh, please comment below. Since this video is uh, over 30 book tag, uh, I thought uh, the uh, word of the day should be 30. Uh, 30 uh, means 30 in Turkish and 30 is our Turkish word of the day. Have a good day.